you know, getting closer. You know, for us, we, we, we just want to squeeze, you know, uh, the time that we have left for preparation, you know, into this week. You know, for us, uh, it's a little different game week, right, playing on a Thursday night. But you know, these guys, man, are taking on everything that we're putting in front of them, and they're doing a good job, and they're giving, like, the energy and effort. I think the energy and effort has started to, you know, rise and climb, and I think, you know, uh, <laughs> I talk to our coaches. We have to be the fire starters in this deal. And like, what we do, they follow, and they've done a great job. It'd be nice to play a rookie quarterback. But this guy's pretty good. Yes. He's shown that, that uh, Richardson. Yes. They got a running back that's, that's aces. Yes. Tight end. They, they got everything. I mean, the quarterback's got a lot of uh, stuff to work with there, right? Yeah. You, you know, like Central Michigan's a talented, you know, football team. And you know, here's what you know about McIlwain. Coach McIlwain, uh, you know, having gone against you him before when he was the head coach of yeah. Florida. I was at Vandy. I mean, we faced each other, like when we played against each other in the big sky. So I've known Jim for a long time. Really good coach. Uh, they run the football well, but I think what's different about Central Michigan is that they throw the football well, too. And he's got weapons. Everybody talks about the running back being a good runner. But I think, you know, when you look at, you know, 35, 40 plus catches, you know, it tells you a lot about what his skill set is. And then the tight end uh, is probably the next great one to come out of Central Michigan. So I think, you know, wide outs. You know, are really what they're they're, they're they're looking to see who's going to come along. But they they've got a returner uh, at, at number six who had 40 plus catches. Uh, this, this is going to be a ball game where we're going to get in the first quarter and see exactly who they are. You know, it's one of these deals where you can guess and imagine all you want to. But they've got good running backs, they've got good tight ends, and they've had some good training for wide receivers coming in. With the depth that you have in the defensive line, there's obviously a lot of different combinations. You can play with. How do you kind of manage that? I've had nothing to manage, but how do you kind of expect to manage? Just well, we just want fresh horses in the game. I mean, for us, uh, we, we, we talk about it. You know, it's goons, goblins, and gremlins. That's, that's, that's how we talk about ourselves, goons, goblins, and gremlins. And nobody really cares you know, who's, who's the first guy. Everybody wants to be the other guy. And so with that, you know, everybody's expected to you know, play their role, do their job, and that, that D-line rotation is going to come in big for us. With Tyler Lacey, let's see if that's going to be a little how do you see him maybe stepping in and kind of with the versatility where he can be? Yeah, well, you know, Lace has gotten a little bigger, a little stronger, a little faster. He can play outside, he can play inside. You know, we just want to make sure that all these guys, I mean, there's so much flexibility, like you said, uh, like with the question earlier. I, I, I just think, you know, the game the game is always going to dictate what the rotation is going to be. You know, I mean, is it a power game? Is it a speed game? Uh, and, and we're going to get our best players on the field. How confident are you in the linebacker? Because that's where it's really – Mm -hmm. The most new on this defense. Yeah. They're they're kind of coming in with you. Yeah. You know what? I mean, we're we're, we're all new, so we're all learning at the same time. And like, here's the thing. Um, I, I I think it is by committee. Uh, I, I I think everybody stepped into their roles, and like there's guys that are playing extremely well. There's guys, man, that are getting better as we go through the process. And what we're gonna have to do is just make sure. Again, it's hard to replace those guys that just left, but it's money ball here. We're we're, we're gonna take all of those guys and make sure that the production. Okay, still counts for us because at the end of the day, we still got to make tackles. We still got to find the football and get ourselves off the field. Just one or two more. This will be a lot of the fan base's first extended look at Mason Cobb. What stands out about him? You know, I think Mason is. Uh, I, 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 I've had a chance to talk to Malcolm, you know, a couple of times, and you know, really thought his football IQ was through the roof. I thought he really, you know, cared about his team. I think Mason is in the same mold. You know, I mean, his gifts are a little different. Right? I mean, uh, yeah. but but when you look at his ability I mean, yeah, to find the football, to track the football, uh, I mean, he owns the middle. I think he, he he he's what you're looking for when you start talking about inside backers, man, because he communicates extremely well, and he's demonstrative about his communication. And that's what matters. When he says, hey, man, it's tight right, it's tight right. And guys are like, okay, it's tight right, I'm going to slide over, let's play. So, like, that's really what you're looking for as you go through it, through, through the process of seeing camp and watching guys. But I think his energy has brought everybody else's energy up. In that room, I think all these guys are now confident because uh, I, I, I think they all see themselves as being valuable and valuable. Perfect. Secondary loss, a little bit of guys to the transfer pool this year, but uh, how have you rated the secondary through spring and fall and now going into the season again? Hey, man, we're competitive and combative. <laughs> you know, we come, we come out every day, man, to work. You know, these dudes got a hard hat and a lunch pail, and regardless, you know, who was here, um, these guys are the guys that are here now. I think it's a, a talented secondary with you know veteran leadership, guys man, who do have bowl experience and game experience. And now what we got to do is make sure man, that we continue to trust in the process and trust in one another. Okay, man. They say something here, man, that always makes sense to me. It takes a lot.
So last time I checked, you know, that, that's, that's the number we use to play football. Appreciate you. Thank you. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.